I've gotten a lot of requests for my sticker storage. So in this video, I am going to be um, showing you my sticker storage and kind of reorganizing it because as you can see, I have a very large haul right now that I need to organize. So if you are interested in how I am storing my stickers, stick around, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee. This video is for you. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, how are you? I am Erin of Planning Life with Erin, and I'm so happy you are here. Thank you for stopping by and checking out a video. And if you are returning, hi, how are you? Thank you for coming back and checking out another video. Glad to have you back again. Okay, so I've gotten a few requests on how I store my stickers. Um, so first, I will say I have two of these. They are binders. They're clear um, A5, I believe, binders, but I will double check on that. Um, they're just like PVC, they're clear. Um, I bought them, there's two of them. I bought the set of two on Amazon. I do have this linked in my storefront. Um, and then the inserts I bought separately. So I have the two inserts that I think are, the, the total size is a five by seven, and then the insert or the pockets, I should say, are, I want to say they're a four by three. Let's get the ruler. They are a five and a quarter by three and a half. So I was wrong. I'm glad I checked. But this actual whole page is a five by seven. The binder is, um, I believe it's an A5. The measurements are roughly nine and a quarter by... It's clear, I can't see it. Six and a half. Um, it is a six ringed binder. Um, I wanted a disc bound system because, I will tell you why, because I don't like the rings. Um, I find it challenging to open and close them, but um, this was a very good price for the two. And um, I'm impatient and I wanted it sooner than later. Um, I think there are some Etsy shops that have um, the disc bound system. I could have tried to create my own. I do have um, the disc hole punch um, thing and all that stuff, but I really just didn't want to. So this was the easiest um, option for me and I love it. Um, I don't necessarily open the, the binder up that often, so it's not too much of a problem. I apologize for the glare. I'm gonna do my best to kind of keep it off to the side so we don't get too much glare. Um, as you guys can see, I have a fairly good size haul from Comfy Monster Co. This is only two of three. I actually just put in another order um, because I forgot to use my bean cards. So obviously I needed to order some more things and there were some things as I went through my haul that I was like, oh, I didn't get this. I should get that, all that good stuff. So <clears throat> I am going to... Let's see, how do I wanna start off? Let's see, so I have also, so what I did on the sides, I added tabs. Um, so I got these, I got this really nice stationary box from Avery and um, they sent some of these tabs, which <clears throat> I highly recommend these tabs. I don't have the actual, I think they're ultra tabs because it's, it's like these, these are the mini ones. Um, these I really like, but they're a little, um, are a little shiny and sparkly so I do like these better. I took off all of the other things so it fit in my basket better um, but they're great. They come right off and then they're they, you can restick them. So I use them in this binder. I'm actually using them in my budget notebook. I think they're great and I use um, this pen. It's a Zaire I guess that's how you say it. Zaire? Zaire? I don't know. I am terrible with those things but it has a larger tip and then it has a smaller tip on this side. Um, I bought these originally to write on my um, transparent sticky notes. So you write with this and it dries right away. It doesn't smear. So I got it for those and then they work really well on here. I haven't used anything else, um, but they work. this pen works really great. Also got this on Amazon. I can link it in my shop. Um, so let's see. Right now, um, I have the Coffee Monster Co. in here. I have another small shop that I found on Etsy. 
um, plan so cute and then I have create with pen and hair right? so these are pretty much the stickers that I use for my Hobonichis um, all I did for the front and the back because I love this bean card I think it's so cute protector piece this is like my favorite one I just added in a bead card um, in the back and the front just so there is a cover for the back and the front and then I have all my extra bean cards and whatnot stored back here um, so let's, let's get refilling. Okay. So I'm going to be honest. I started to, I store, I started to organize this. Um, and it's not too bad. So I might actually move some things around as I start organizing. So we'll start with the emojis and then I'll move on to my kits. So the way I kind of have it is I have, um, an anniversary one here. What's this? There's something stuck on here. I don't know what that is. Um, and then my coffee, all my coffee ones, because I'm, I'm a coffee fan. So let me start by, I'm going to kind of organize these a little bit, the ones that I've already gotten. So I've gotten, I did a quick, um, like a haul, um, in my last video, I believe, but I basically got, I got some planning emojis or emojis, sorry. Um, multitasking because I'm always, always doing things, multiple things at the same time. Um, some self-care, self-love. Um, lazy day. I got two lazy day ones because I need to start scheduling in some lazy time because if not, I think my husband's going to lose it. Rainy day because we're coming up, um, on spring and I got decluttering because I've been decluttering a lot. So I'm just kind of putting these out so I can see what I have. And I have the two year and the four year anniversary and the adult adulting emoji bucket list. So how do I want to do this? I have winter errands and like all my winter stuff because we're in winter right now. I think I did not get any, any other coffee ones. Sorry, I was just looking around to see if I had any other coffee ones. I do like having the six year emoji one, um, the six year anniversary. And then I believe I have, yes, I have the one year anniversary. So let's do, got one, two, because you know what's happening. I... I think I ordered five, the five, fifth year anniversary because I wasn't near my stickers. So I didn't know which ones I already had. I couldn't remember it and oh well. So I just want to put them kind of all on the same page or in the same section. So I know what I have. All right. And then this was my planner stuff, I believe on this side. Let's see. Yeah. This is like all social media planning stuff. So, all right, we have these pages. So they're back and front. There is two pockets. So there's a pocket in the front and then there is a pocket on this side. And I got a little confused when I first started loading them in. I kind of put them all on this one side. So I had the back and front, um, but there is two separate pockets. So let's start with the one year anniversary, two year anniversary. And then eventually what I might do is, I don't know if I really need to, but I was thinking about tabbing it off to just so I can mark which one, like these are variety emoji emojis or these are planning emojis, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so this is social media thing. So I have anything else that is social media related. I have my planning stuff here. So that could essentially go on, let's do this. Let's take the me time emojis and put it with the self-love and these are just the unicorn ones. These are so cute. Okay. I want to keep those off to the side and I have working YouTube planning. So let's do, then I have some happy mail and some Amazon prime emojis. So I'm going to take these out because I'm kind of, I'm kind of like all messed up because I took some out the other day to work on some things. And then I did not put them back correctly. So I want to add these in. These are Amazon and Happy Mail. And then I want to take my planning time modis and I want to put those in there. And I want to add, oh, you know what? Let me see. Do I have any other ones? I feel like the manicure ones would be in the self-care category. So we're going to put that over there. Lazy day emojis might go with the self-care emojis. And then rainy day would go with 
my winter ones. I'm going to put that in that section. So let's see. We have planning emojis, happy mail. I'd like to try to have like, see how this is all like when I open it. I'm one of those type people that I like to see everything when I open it. So this is a good, if I could add these in somewhere, maybe I'm going to add these in here. The coldest day ever because this kind of like sets starts off the winter section. And then I have work planner stuff. Let's see if I have any other planner related emojis. I have all my Christmas ones. So I kind of cleared it out just a little bit and I have random die cuts and then my freebies. So I'm going to take these out also because I'm reorganizing. Okay. So, and then these are leftover tabs and some sticky notes and some kits that I've already used. So I'm going to put these off to the side as well. And I'm going to pull out Christmas. This is all my Christmas ones. And we'll keep those off to the side because those can kind of go towards the back because I'm not going to be using them a lot. So I want to put this off to the side for a second. Okay. And I have bad day emojis. Um, mostly for when I'm feeling stressed or if I have, um, if you've noticed, I've used all of the ouch ones because I use those when I have migraines. So, Helen, if you watch this, um, Maybe we can make some migraine emojis. That might be a good idea. I think there's a lot of people out there that get um, migraines, unfortunately. Not cool, not fun. All right, so I'm going to keep my daily affirmations in with my self-care stuff. I'm going to kind of clear this up a little bit. And I've got winter couch potatoes, which I want to add with my lazy day. So I'll put that in there. And then I have sushi because this girl can't get enough sushi. Absolutely love sushi, but I'm going to put that with my healthy eating because I mean, sushi's kind of healthy, right? All right. So we have multitasking and we have decluttering emojis. I feel like those should be in the same area. And then we have like these just fun, um, unicorn onesies. So I think I want to actually add those back in here with the planning stuff because I do tend to use these when I'm really excited about something. I'm sorry about the glare guys. Everything's so shiny. Um, but yeah, I do tend to use the unicorn emojis, um, emojis when I am planning and I'm really excited about something. So I think that works in that section. Okay. And then I do have a self-care bucket list. Love those. Self-love emojis, me time emojis. All right, let's get these in. So I got my self-care bucket, bucket list, uh, self-love emojis, okay? And then me time emojis. I think I need to get more of these. Maybe I should have checked on my inventory before I put my last order in. Okay, um, I love this adulting emoji bucket list. I'm gonna put this with the decluttering and the multitask emojis. Okay, and then we have daily affirmations, manicure, Helen's favorite things. Let's see. Let's do manicure next because, oh, there's a hair on this. Manicure is definitely self-care for me, even though I don't really like giving myself, I give myself my own manicures and it's not like my most favorite thing, but it is, I, I feel like taking that time and taking the effort to do my nails, um, it's definitely, a, it's definitely a self-care thing. Um, all right. And then I'm going to add in my sushi and eating healthy because I feel like it's kind of continuing with the whole self-care idea. Okay. Now, what else are we doing? Let's see. Oh, I've got four of these. So this would be a good I can get it off my desk. There we go. This would be good for here. I've got four of these. These are the same. So I'm going to put them together. This is my lazy day emoji. And it's kind of nice because I feel like following up with the self-care. This is also self-care for me. I know that sounds silly, but I don't stop. I never stop. I'm always busy. My husband gets so frustrated with me because like I... I don't necessarily rope him into anything on the weekend, but I'm always cleaning out something or I'm doing laundry or I'm cooking or I find it very hard to sit. And then when I do sit, I fall asleep. So um, I'm trying to relax a little bit and not feel the anxiety of sitting because that's what ends up happening. I sit, I try to relax and I think about the 1 million things I have to do and I have trouble um, relaxing. <laughs> so... 
That is one of my goals. It's part of my word of the year, intentional. I'm trying to be intentional about how I am spending my time. So that's why these self-care emojis are really important to me right now. Um, okay, so guys, before I forget, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do so now so you don't forget. Um, and then once you subscribe, you can hit the little bell notification and YouTube will notify you anytime I come out with a new video, which um, I do about two to three new videos a week. Um, and if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the community, help us, it helps us build this community. Um, that's so awesome and amazing. And I'm so grateful for all of you. Okay, so let's get to the next page. Now I have a couple of these. Let's see, I have my trash emojis and I have declutter emojis. So these are like kind of two different things. So this is for a reminder for trash day. If you've been around, you've seen a couple of my videos. Our trash day was changed and my husband and I are having trouble remembering. So I bought these to remind us because <laughs> what's better than a cute little emoji to remind you about your trash? I mean, right? Okay, so let's do the decluttering. Let's do the adulting emojis in this one. And I guess, I guess we could put the trash ones with it. Or do I wanna do multitasking? I think I wanna do multitasking with my adulting emojis. I think that makes a little bit more sense to me, the way my brain is working at the moment. Guys, before I forget, I hit 1,000 subscribers, and I just want to say thank you. Um, I meant to say it at the beginning of the video, um, and then I just kind of got right into it, but we have 1,000 people in our community, and I am so excited. I am so grateful for each one of you. Um, I'm glad that you're here, and I am very happy and excited about this community that we're building, so thank you very, very much for that. Um, it's pretty exciting. I woke up to that this morning, and I was very excited. Um, this has just been great. You guys are great. The community that we're building is great. And I'm, I'm very excited. I don't know what else to say. I'm very excited and happy. Okay. On to and back to the stickers. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I don't have my mic in because I have to charge it. I didn't realize I had to charge it because it advertises it as just like a plug and play. I do think I like it though. I, I when I listened to the audio um, on my last video, it did sound a bit better. I do have my, um, my earbud in so I, I do see that I do hear I should say that there's a difference but you have to plug this part into the phone and I thought it would just work but it was not charged so not using the microphone today but I will hopefully in the rest of my videos now that I know that I need to charge it it will be done and charged okay so I do have all of my Christmas emojis now I was using a couple of them. So like these are really Christmassy. These are like, you know, the reds and all that stuff. And they have like Santa hats on and stuff. But some of these, like these guys, like the baking one, it's just kind of like pink, um, which doesn't really, you know, scream Christmas to me or like, you know, like the one with the cookies and the milk. And my daughter and I have been baking. So like, as you can see, I don't have the baking emoji on here. There was two, but I used one. Um, because we baked the other day and it was, it's been so fun, probably not good for my hips, but, um, you know, with things costing an arm and a leg, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to bake some cookies. So, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to keep these out. Um, so I can use some of these baking emojis because we're probably going to do it more. I actually found a recipe for zucchini bread, love zucchini bread. So I would like to try that. Um, and I'd like to get my daughter involved because she's going to be nine and I love her dearly, but she is not the best eater in the world. And, you know, in the realm of things, um, most children are not, um, but we're working really hard because, um, oh, I just, sorry, I just cracked my knuckles. Sorry, you guys. Um, we're working really, really hard to make sure we're eating some healthy foods or at least incorporating some healthy foods. So I thought zucchini bread, even though, you know, it's not the best it has zucchini in it. Um, I'm not sure health wise if there's like a lot, but I thought maybe getting her involved in it and like helping me like shred the zucchini and make it, um, maybe just maybe she would like it. Um, I'm not sure maybe like carrot bread or not carrot bread, carrot cake, things like that. Just different things. She does not like blueberry muffins. We've tried that. That's my favorite, but she does not like blueberry muffins. She does like corn muffins, but I don't think there's any nutritional value in a corn muffin, <laughs> but 
Anyways, that was just like a really long off topic thing about baking and leaving these emojis out. So, so far we have my coffee emojis. Those are my, my most used emojis. I think I have two sheets of these and this one's like almost done. I had three <laughs> and that one's no longer with us because we've used them all. Um, winter, 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 because we're still a winter, even though today in Rhode Island, it's going to be 60, I think it's going to be 61 degrees. We're supposed to break some record for February high temperature. Guys, if you guys saw my vlog from last week, last Friday, it was like negative 26 degrees by the time we hit Friday night, I believe, or early Saturday morning. Um, so do the math, right? Negative 26 and 60 degrees. That's a lot. That's like 80 something degrees increase. So it's been crazy. Don't get me wrong. I do like the spring weather, but it's February. Don't tease me like that because then it's going to get cold again and we're going to have to go through March and then April and then maybe sometime in May it'll be spring like. So I just don't like the tease and I feel like, I don't know, it's very confusing, but I'll take it. Anyhow, anyways. Moving on, I'm super chatty today, guys, sorry. Okay, so we've got the one year, two year, four year, and six year. So I need three and five, maybe, maybe. I have to check my order, I might have ordered. I think I at least ordered three, but I'm not sure. Um, but hey, it's just another excuse to order, right? And then if you have to order two, you might as well order four because or more because you gotta pay for the shipping anyways, same price. So anyways, <laughs> okay, that's what I tell my husband anyways. Okay, so and then we've got working and YouTube, planning emojis, delivery emojis, um, self-care emojis. I've got so many of them because, like I said before, this year is very intentional and I want to take better care of myself. And little side note, I know I'm super chatty and I apologize, but side note, doing that vlog last Friday, I had so much fun. So I have two kids. If you're new to the channel, I have, I'm a mom of two, two kids, um, almost nine and almost 11. And I've been with my husband for about 20 years now. And last Friday was the first time and probably over 10 years because I was pregnant, um, that I actually went out and I did something for me. Um, you know, it really wasn't too much of a big deal, but I planned the day, you know, I went and I got a Starbucks, I went to Michael's, um, I went and got myself some sushi takeout just because, and I haven't had a day like that probably since before kids where I just decided that today is not going to be, I mean, I did some chores, don't get me wrong. Cause like I said to you earlier in this video, I can't just sit around and do nothing. So I did get some chores done, you know, my regular morning reset and making beds and, and starting some laundry and things like that. But I took like a two hour time block out of my day and scheduled some me time, like true me time, not like a shower, not like I'm going to the supermarket to get some groceries, true me time. And it was great. It was really great. So, um, it's just important to me right now. I feel like, um, you know, sometimes we get lost in life and all that stuff. So taking the time to do some things and being very intentional, um, I'm already feeling um, the difference. So anyways, self-care emojis, here we go. They're everywhere. I've got them all, daily affirmations. I actually need more than more uh, another sheet. So this is good too. Um, I want to have like an inventory sheet so I know like okay this is what I have because I use these a lot some of these like the coffee ones I need more of those that kind of thing um just like I would do inventory in my pantry if you know maybe I only have two boxes of pasta so it's time to put pasta on the radar and I say pasta because I'm Italian and I love pasta but um I would like to create a tracker for my stickers um so stay tuned for that things have been a little crazy but stay tuned for that, um, and I would like to get something like that up in my shop. Let me know down below if that is something you would be interested in, because I feel like having like a master list that maybe you can just put in the front of your sticker um, album and just say, you know, okay, I'm using my last coffee stickers, so I'm going to need those, that kind of thing. So that's going to be coming soon, I'm hoping. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to structure it. Okay. And then we're moving on to our cleaning emojis and adulting and multitasking. And I have some, even though these are Christmas, these are, we're going to call these my baking cookie ones. Um, 
rainy day emojis because eventually we're going to get into spring even though we're having like a preview to spring and then I'm going to keep my Christmas ones and the holidays back here. I have more of these coming in but I do have, see now I'm going to start pulling out more things because I have things everywhere. Ooh, I can't get it out. My little, my little winter biomes. I'm going to have to use that soon. I mean like with the weather happening the way it is. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do, this is the forest one. Oh. So I have a full five by seven page. That was kind of right in the middle here. So I'm gonna move that over. And let's do the winter biomes. And I'm going to leave a space because I have um, the desert and I believe the ocean one coming in with the little stickers. That's something else I put in my my order this time. So that works perfect. I can keep those there. I'll leave these two free for when those come in. And I love these. These are so cute. The little magic, large magic forest doodles. I might have more doodles coming in. I can't remember now what I ordered. So I still have, um, I don't remember how many packets or how many of these sleeves came in a packet. It was a very good amount. Um, I only ordered one set. So it's everything that you're seeing here. Um, but they were two separate things. So this was one package and they were very reasonably priced. I want to say they were about $7.99 or something like that. Um, so it was a package of these and they were separate. And then a package of the split two pocket or four pocket, however you want to look at it back and front. Um, all right, so let's start kind of moving these up a little bit. And I haven't had to reorder anything. So like, again, this is just the set that I originally bought. All right, now I have some kits. Now, hold on, I wanna make sure I left the free space. All right, so I have some kits. Now I don't, I have coordinating cousin kits for some of these. Um, I originally was thinking maybe I'd put them together, but I think I wanna keep them separate. Um, but that could change because these, you know, they're kind of small, so they don't fill up the whole page. So I don't know how much it's gonna bother me. I'm weird like that. So we'll see, we'll just see how this goes, I guess. Um, actually, do I want to, yeah, I think I want to keep them like this. I have more tabs that I ordered, so we're going to keep these off with my other tabs. And then I have, I did get more kits too, because I just can't say no to a good kit. I'll pop that in there. I kind of like having everything coordinating. I've been, I'm that person, I like to have coordinating things. So I have the cousin um, kits and then I have the weeks kits because I do have a weeks and a cousin if you're new to the channel I have um, a weeks that I use for my everyday carry and a cousin that I use all the time like at home kind of thing and I use it for my journaling and all that stuff um, but I like having things coordinated and then when I do my daily pages for the week I've been using the coordinating stickers that go with the kit that I use and I'm I'm really enjoying that all right, so these are some sticky notes. These went to Midnight's. This is Icy Wonderland. And this is Midnight's, which I've already used, but I still have some stickers to use on that. And this one is also Midnight's. So we'll put these, I think, we'll just pop these in here. And I'll make it so the sticky notes are sticking out on top so I can see what I have for these. These are so cute just to use as like little trackers, like if you're tracking water or steps or something like that, if you need some ideas on what to use little sticky notes for. Okay, these seals are so cute. I'll put these in. And I have to say, I have been, I've used them, um, as you can see, and I get nervous because I'm like, oh no, what if I, you know, what if I don't want to stick it here? Or what if, like the coffee ones, I have not used them yet. And I have some things I want to stick them on, but I'm, I'm just going to enjoy them in here for now. All right, let's see. Let's do, I have these two that I haven't used yet. I have a plan. I have a plan for all of them. I just haven't, I haven't uh, initiated the plan yet. And then I have my tabs. So let's do a separate pocket for tabs. And then I have my, my freebies. All right, let's 
see. Did I use all these? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. And then this was just from, I just had these two little stickers left from a kit that I had used and I didn't want to keep the whole kit. It was empty. So I just took those off, but this holds them very nicely. Um, okay. So I'm going to keep these free because we do have more stickers coming in. I'm going to put those in there for now. Cute. Okay. So I do have more things coming in, so I'm going to leave that. And then I have my nice little collection of people that have packed my orders for me. Um, I just kind of stuck them on here. So here is... So like this, for instance, this was a self-care kit and I used all the self-care emojis on my um, my daily pages. So I only have one left since that unicorn, so cute. So I kind of popped that in there for now because I know that this is still available, that there are still some stickers in this kit that I can use. Um, and then I have, I just kind of popped these in here. These were just for the stamps that I had gotten. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. And we're gonna kind of condense this a little bit. Um, this was the Midnight's kit. And so I just realized something when I got my order in. When I was ordering and I put things in my wish list, I didn't realize at the time that um, I ordered by accident mini kits. Um, I think when I ordered them originally, I thought that they were just like bigger than, and it was for the Hobonichi, but they are a little bit bigger. Um, cause I planned with them and I didn't realize it. It took me a hot minute to realize that they are a bit bigger and that was why, but I can still use them. I did it with quite a few of them actually, and I'm not going to reorder kits. So I'm going to make it work just like I did with my other ones, but now live and learn. And if you guys are wondering, there are mini kits and then there is kits that are specifically for the Hobonichi cousin. These, however, do work. They're a little bit bigger, but we can do some sticker surgery and make it work. It's not a big deal. So keep those off to the side, but I did do it with like the Midnight's kit. I didn't realize it. Um, I, I love this one, the gloomy kit. I think it's great. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to use it if there is, you know, a rainy week or if I'm not feeling well, something like that. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be used for just like a depressing time. Um, and then this one was the classic Modi cousin kits. Let's see. So I've used pretty much all of these. I have my icy one. But again, there are still plenty of stickers left over, so I can use them again. I actually already did use one of my kits again. Um, it was the new chapter kit. So that was cool. I used it, I believe, for this past week. Yeah, it was this week I've been using it. Kind of went with my February theme. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. I have these, too. So I have these little trackers. I keep these extra. And then I have um, Christmas movies, which I already use most of them around Christmas time. And then I use these back pages. So I printed these out and used my Cricut. These were digital downloads that I purchased. And then I just printed them out onto 5x7. Um, What's in here? Well, I printed out some vellum also. So I'm kind of like using this for all storage. So I have some um, vellum behind here too, I believe, that I printed. All right. So let's start with adding this kit in. This is the Gloomy Weeks. And I love that with this binder um, or any, you know, with these inserts, I should say, that I can have my 5 by 7s in with my... Um, my smaller sections. But what I might do is I might put a tab just to se separate my kits from my modis. But we'll see. I don't know if I necessarily need that. And I did actually have a thought that I might. So I do journal in Happy Planner Classic. Um, and I was thinking about maybe using some of these for one of my journaling weeks. We'll see. Like this lovely life one is so cute. And I think it would work pretty good in there. So we'll see. 
because really you can use these stickers in any planner. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Hobonichi. Um, it's just some of these are sized specifically for the Hobonichi Cousin or the Hobonichi Weeks. And I am obsessed with Tome River Paper, so that's what I'm using right now for planning. I love the system. I think it's great. And I'm pretty excited about it. All right, this actually I made also. I used... Um, I had bought these clear pockets and I printed, this one just went on there crooked, but I printed um, on clear sticker paper, digital download that I kind of created. Um, these were clip arts and then I just made them small and I made them on my Cricut and then I printed on clear sticker paper. So then this comes off and it gets stuck to the page. Um, I don't think I need this in here. Like, I'm not going to use it in here. I just kind of store it in here. So if I need a card holder for any reason, I know where it is. I have an extra page here. So let me add this in. Okay. And that, guys, is my sticker storage. And now we've just reorganized and tidied up my sticker book. Sorry, that's a little bit shiny. And, you know, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good size. Um, there's quite a few things in here. And like I said, everything, um, the sticker binder and the inserts are linked in my shop, uh, my Amazon storefront. Um, so if you'd like to check that out, you can. Um, I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. So as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. I know we're all busy, so I'm very thankful for the time that you spend with me. Um, Again, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I'm so very excited. Welcome to the community if you are new. I'm so happy you are here. Um, and until I see you again, have a great week and happy planning. Bye.